Hey wise gamers, it's your wise gamer killer the wise. We are back with you guessed it for your info Fridays ah! Where I go over things to help you make an easier decision. So today we'll be going over PS Plus Essential Games for January 2024. Ooh, bring in a new year. Is it gonna be worth it? As always, if you enjoy the content, hit a like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you know when I drop my videos, and then check out my top right video right here. And then stay wise and let's get into it. And P.S. There's a secret at the end. The secret is that the Wheel of Doom spin. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, wise gamers, we have, you guessed it, a Plague Tale Requiem. It came out ooh, almost a year, over a year ago. It's 51 gigs. It's 60 bucks if you were going to buy it normally. Let's see what the gameplay reveal looks like, huh? Under the wide and starry sky. This game looks beautiful though. Holy cannoli. the grave and let me lie. Amicia, come! Hugo, I'm right behind you! Glad did I live and gladly die. And I laid me down. With a will. This looks sick. Impossible. Oh my god, what the heck? This be the verse you crave for me. Hey, come on, you've seen worse than this. Here he lies, where he longed to be. Home is the sailor, home from sea, and the hunter, home from the hill. I feel my mind going. I know. Think of your brother. We have to carry on. Oh no. What have you done? First of all, that game looks crazy. I'm hyped. If I get the Wheel of Doom spin on that one, I'm going to be hyped. So it's got 4.69. Looks like mostly five star ratings. Single player. Uh, doesn't look like it has some PS Plus streaming. Streaming to support devices with PlayStation Plus subscription. Um, other games that it's similar to are like The Last of Us, Life is Strange, Death Stranding, Last Judgment, God Mora, Iron Week. So it's one of those like third person action story games. But that looked lit. Holy cannoli. All right. So that one looks like it's going to be worth it for my Wheel of Doom. But we're going to have to just wait till the end, right? Because I'm going to spin on to the next video. Alrighty. We are here with our next game evil west it'll be 60 gigs also one player also came out a year ago around the same time as plague requiem um 60 bucks looks like it's got a 4.04 .04 star rating out of 1k players so it's only a four star not as high let's check out the gameplay overview from what i remember from when this game dropped this game was pretty hyped but we're gonna have to see welcome to evil west a dark menace consumes enough, the American it's made by the frontier. Same studio. Rise up to become a Wild West superhero and eradicate the vampire threat. That's mine. Too bad this is not endgame footage though, right? In this narrative-driven action adventure, you'll battle through an explosive campaign. Alone or with a friend, as myths and legends come alive. Where's the co-op game? You didn't see that coming. I did not see that coming. Hmm. Beasts and bloodthirsty creatures lurk in the shadows in this twisted vision of the Old West. Okay. You play as Jesse Rentier, a vampire hunter raised by his father William in the ancient Rentier Institute. My father in his office? Me. Interesting. I'm just saying so far. The last line of defense between humanity and the unrelenting supernatural forces. Jesse is already a well-trained hunter, though he can be unpredictable, rebellious, and stubborn. Maybe you'll make it out of this after all. Where's Fortunately, you can all always count on your partner, Edgar, a retired rentier agent forced back into action as a deadly vampiric conspiracy emerges from the darkness and deals a crippling blow to the Institute. Together, You'll lead the counterattack against these monsters, 
while Jesse learns dope. to accept his growing responsibilities and become a leader. Explore every corner of the Wild West, from vast Ooh. oil fields to invested mines and mighty canyons to shadowy ghost towns. Ooh, this game looks worse. Though. As you progress on your journey, you'll encounter new friends, vital for bolstering your forces against the vampire. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So it looks like supports up to two players online, so there is online co-op. And this game looks lit. What? This game looks lit. This game looks lit. Oh man, we're in we're in a high competition for Wheel of Doom, what I want to play. Either Requiem Tale or this game. And they both have trials. So if you have a PS Plus extra membership, you can also download these and try it out before it drops. So on to the last game. Last up on the list is Nobody Save the World. 1.82 gigs. Uh, released also a year ago. 25 bucks. It's overall rating into 4.7, but it only has 341 plays. So that's not that bad to have the high of a rating. Um, it looks like it's got a lot of high ratings in general from other things. Eights, nines. Ooh, okay. 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 How's it work though? Come on, Moonbeck, you do it. Local play. Oh, this game is cool. I'm gonna play this with my daughter. This looks lit. This looks lit. I want this. I want this all the most. Wow, what? <laughs> yeah, this game, that game looks lit too. What the heck? What the heck? This game looks lit, and it got couch co-op. What? Stop it! Stop it! Uh, DLC for five bucks. That's how you know it's a good, good, good indie game. Two players support up two players with PlayStation Plus online, two players local. Um, that looks lit. I'm looking forward to playing any of these games. Now we have a tough decision here. We gotta get the Wheel of Doom ready and see what I spin. Shall we, wise gamers? Alrighty, we are here, wise gamers. So, if it's me, all three games look fun, right? But if it's the, for the purpose of the Wheel of Doom, I feel like Evil West, I want to play more than Plague. I feel like I tried to play Plague, and it wasn't... I tried to do the trial version, and it wasn't worth it when I tried it. So, for some reason, I remember that. I don't think I ever posted it on YouTube. So the objective is I want either Nobody or Evil West. I have a 33% chance of getting one of the three games. The objective of Wheel of Doom Wednesdays is to beat the Wheel of Doom. And as always, if you haven't seen, there is a link on the top right that will take you to my per pre current Wheel of Doom, which is stable. So, let's spin to win. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? In the West! <laughs> Evil West it is, man. Um, so that's super great. That's super great. Um, I'm gonna probably play Nobody with my daughter, so stay tuned for those videos. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and stay wise, wise gamers. And thank you for stopping by for your Info Fridays. And check out my Wheel of Doom series, which will be playing Evil West come January. Usually it drops the first Tuesday of the month. So let's see, calendar. Hold on, trying to pull up calendar. Looks like those games will be available the second, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yep, second. Ooh, I'm smart. As always, stay wise, wise gamers, and let's get out of here.